Welcome to another edition of Danny's Hot Takes. Uh, today we're going to be doing our next installment of our series on the new Warhammer 40,000 rules for 9th edition. And we're going to go phase by phase. So, to, so in this video we're going to be overviewing the charge phase. All right. Um, so the charge phase consists of two different uh, sections. We have charges themselves and then also heroic interventions. Um, in the charge phase, warriors hurl themselves into battle to slay with blade, hammer, and claw. Strident war cries and frantic screams echo through the whirling smoke as the moment of cataclysmic violence draws near. You know, to be honest, I thought it said, I almost thought it said strident war crimes, and I thought that was, uh, that was pretty good. It's pretty grim dark. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty grim, grim dark. dark. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so the actual charges themselves. So uh, when you decide you want to charge a unit, you want to get your unit into combat so they can punch their opponents or, or slice them with their swords or hit them with their power hammers or, or with thunder hammers, um, you have to declare a charge first. So you pick a unit uh, to charge. And the eligible unit has to be within 12 inches of an enemy unit at the start of the charge phase, unless they have a rule that states otherwise. Um, units that have advanced or fallen back are not able to declare charges during the charge phase. You also can't charge if you're already in, in engagement range, um, because if you're already fighting somebody or already in close combat, you're not going to be able to charge away and fight somebody else. You got to, you got to stick with that dance partner folks. Um, and so, uh, if you don't have any units that that you want to charge with, you can move right onto heroic interventions. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to uh, keep doing charges forever. In, in, in you know, uh, ad nauseum into infinity <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> Correct. And no unit can be selected to charge more than once each charge phase. They can only charge once again unless a rule lets them uh, charge more than one time during the charge phase. Uh, once all of your uh, eligible units that you wish to charge with have declared a charge and have done so, uh, then you can proceed to the heroic interventions phase. Um, so again, select a unit to charge with, charge with that unit. Um, and charging with the unit is pretty simple. Uh, you decide which units within 12 inches that you wish to declare a charge against. Um, you roll 2d6, and that's how far your unit gets to move. Um, and if they can reach all of the charge targets that they declared, i.e. get them within, within engagement range, which is what we went over earlier, um, that charge is successful. Um, so if you only charge one e unit, you have to get within one inch or five inches of vertical coherency. Um, if, you charge, if you charge multiple units, like let's say one unit is eight inches away, one unit is nine inches away, and you only make it with uh, one of the one unit, uh, or you only make it like an eight inch charge. So you can't make that nine inch charge to the other unit. Um, then the charge has failed and you don't get to move your guys at all. Um, so just be really careful with who you decide to charge, uh, in the charge phase. Um, and, uh, let's see here. Yep. And so uh, the two D six inches, of course, is the number of inches that you can move each model in the unit. Um, uh, that two D six roll in order to make the charge. Um, after you finish declaring and moving all of your chargers, uh, you can move on to heroic interventions. And this is where your opponent gets some counterplay uh, to your chargers. Um, so most heroic interventions happen uh, with characters. Um, so characters can pick uh, a unit within three inches horizontally or five inches vertically, and they can make a three inch heroic intervention move to get into engagement. Um, you can do this for each one of your characters that you so desire, as long as they're within that engagement, that, uh, that heroic intervention range of three inches horizontally or five inches vertically. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. Um, once all of the characters have performed heroic intervention moves, um, the charge phase ends and you can progress to the fight phase. Uh, keep in mind when you do do heroic interventions, the character only gets to move three inches, and then they also, in, again, unless a special rule precludes them and or makes them move further, um, and they must move that move that they must end that move closer to the closest enemy model, and they can only move that three inches if they can actually make it into melee range. So there are some other rules that are pertinent to the charge phase. These are some more advanced rules for charging. Um, charging over terrain. So just like in movement and the charge move is more or less a move that you make with your units. Um, you have to actually, uh, pay penalties for moving over terrain or, or through terrain. 
uh, depending on what that terrain special rules are, and we'll go over that during the terrain review that we do as well. Um, so again, you can also ignore uh, terrain that's one inch or less in height as you move over. Um, you don't have to pay the movement penalty to move up and over uh, and down again uh, on that particular terrain. Um, if you have the fly keyword, you do get to, and for normal charges as well, you can't charge through enemy models. Like you can never move through another model. Uh, again, that engagement range is super important um, unless you have the fly keyword or another, or another rule that lets you do this. Um, when you move your chargers and they have the fly keyword, you do get to ignore uh, other models and terrain. Um, so you get to ignore vertical distance, just like a uh, oh, sorry, not vertical distance, just models, uh, uh, just models, uh, and they and they have to move over terrain features just like normal. Um, so they can't jump off a building and you know get an extra bunch of inches or anything like that. They have to charge like normal, but they do get to jump over other models uh, in the game. And then we have Overwatch. Um, so Overwatch uh, is a rule that sometimes comes into play. There's a stratagem that lets you do it, as well as some units will have the natural ability to Overwatch depending on the rules for the unit or the weapons that they carry. Uh, if you get to overwatch, um, uh, as the enemy charges you, you get to fire at them as they, as they charge headlong into combat. Um, so when that happens, uh, the units or unit that is charged gets to make a shooting attack. However, they only ever hit on sixes, regardless of any hit modifiers. Um, you don't get any, <clears throat> again, unless, again, <laughs> unless a special rule precludes that and they get to hit on fives or something even better. Um, you hit on sixes. Um, there's no, you don't get to use your ballistic skill. Only the six will, only the six will actually hit. And that concludes the charge phase. Uh, stay tuned for our next review where we'll, where we'll be going over the fight phase.